Playing well, I mean, both these guys are in winning scores right now. Um, yeah. Go experience just defeated Nanowar. This guy's been playing uh, really well lately. The new, newly buffed Samus. Very, very good now. He's always been a kid character. Got buffed now. <laughs> I feel like you have something you want to say. <laughs> I mean, he has always been a, a great player. The the buffs only help. Yeah. There's been many instances where I see the up throw kill, and I'm like, that's the buff in play. Yeah. Well, I guess certain percentages, you just cannot get grabbed by this character. Yeah. But uh, we shall see what happens here. I feel like Ness actually might not too too bad against this character, I feel like, but this character does have the limbs to really mess around with Ness as well. Yeah, I think uh, Ness should do well in this matchup. Oh! Wow, the fire. Down air to back air. I thought he was about to whip punish that. Uh, yeah, I thought he was going to whip punish it too, but he didn't uh, do anything after. Nice fourth though, and Go Experience has got one heck of a lead right now. And yeah. this character does not struggle on killing, by the way. Yeah, if he gets him to higher percent, Sabako could easily take the stock. The thing is, too, I didn't even think about it, but Charge Shot gets invalidated by that magnet as well, so, like, he doesn't really have to approach sometimes, but he's just going in. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. That was close. Oh, he wanted to go for down smash. I thought, yeah, I thought he would yo yo there. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to respect the charge shot too much compared to other characters, but I think maybe missiles. Do you, is he able to absorb missiles? Uh, I, he might be able to absorb missiles, yeah, but we'll, I don't know enough. Yeah, we'll, we'll so. see if he if he's able to. Yeah, I saw the side magnet come out there. I think in expecting a charge shot. Good grab to punish that. Goes for an uh, up tilt. Oh, oh that was a miss input. Yeah, Disco. The look on Disco's face is like, what? Who? Who did that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Gold Experience has been playing really well today. Yeah, and Gold Experience is like, I said before, he's really pushing the forward in button right now because at this point, I don't feel like Disco Blade has been able to set up anything. Oh, absorbed it there, he got a lot of health back. Oh, oh okay. Okay, he up beat. He, he was, was like, get off me, sir. Right there. He said, get off me, sir. I do not need that in my life. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's been throwing out bombs more. Okay, surprise no punish from the roll in. Uh, Samus is, uh, well, I believe, her neutral. Her charge shot can cover roll, get up, and like get up attack. It covers like a whole nine yards. It's yeah, really good for with the bomb too. It's really difficult to. Uh, oh, he got him right there. But it's really difficult to contest uh, Samus when he's uh, lead trapping you. Especially she. she. My bad. My bad. <laughs> yes. Uh, if Samus has a bomb on ledge and a charge shot ready, it's very difficult to pick the right option. Oh, that was really smart. It was, and that was a super good up smash. Yeah. Because if he had blocked that, yeah, uh, he's gonna be stuck in so much shield stun. If he immediately tried to like buff an option out of it, he would just would have just died anyway. Now we cover spot dodge too. Yeah. That was super super good from. Uh, oh. Oh no. my God! Is that okay? I thought he was about to just end his life. Jeez. This go bunny cannot get away from this darn kid. I need you to buy my cookies. <laughs> oh. Or ma'am. Got safe control. The save was really good. Oh, he almost had the whip punish on the dash attack too. And now just goes like he's playing his heart out right now. Ooh, but he that just is so up. much percent. Oh, he doesn't have a jump though. I think he actually might just die here. Oh, he saved him. He accidentally saved him. Oh, he tried to cover the jump out of shield, but didn't have. Oh, I think he yeah, he was going for a dare there. Yeah, a little bit too much of my. Yeah, too much. A little yeah. too much. Yeah, look at him smiling. He knows. Disco's one of those hardened players too, so I mean, it's possible he makes a comeback here, but the way Gold is playing, he oh, doesn't no, care yeah. about comebacks. I think okay. the getup attack is just not working out on the ledge. Get the grab? Oh no, he barely was out of grab range. Okay, he oh. caught his uh, ledge jump. Oh. Phenomenal DI. Samus is very thick, at least when she's in armor anyway. Okay. That was the right option. Okay, let's see if he can bring it back. Oh, good call out. Okay. This is crazy. These grabs are so scary because yeah, one like, grab, what? one grab, get in this. Oh, goes for the back air, immediate up behind a shield, good DP. The forward air, everything's good. Getting, becoming a roller coaster at this moment, uh, but he gets the grab anyway out of the forward air and gets chucked. Super well played. So experience might be getting a huge upset here. Uh, recall putting Disco yeah. Blade as the number two seed here. Yeah, he might go on a run right now. Lord almighty, that's, uh, that's terrifying. So if Disco Bunny goes out, Gold Experience, I believe, is in winner semis. Yeah. He's going to be fighting, I believe, the winner of you and Jamal? 
Yeah, I'm seated to play Jama right now. Uh, he's supposed to play Saint, so he gets the Ike right before he he plays me. So we'll see how that goes. That's where you convince Saint to play like another character. You're like, bro. I, I feel like it happens more. all the time where like the person I'm seated to play against has to play him, so they're <laughs> totally ready for the Ike matchup. Worst right. feeling in the world. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I've been voiced from Disco early on, but the oh, air to air. Got him. Oh, okay. Good um, DI out. And charge shot is so good at starting up combos. It, it feels like it shouldn't be that good at starting up combos. It's it like... shouldn't. It, it feels like it shouldn't, but it definitely works really well. Oh, okay. How is he gonna? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. how you let trap. Good coverage there. He's playing very patient, just a uh, dash dancing. I feel like comparison uh, of like teaser versus disco. I feel like disco definitely just plays just more neutral sometimes. Yeah. Uh, teaser just has this uncanny ability to know like when you're gonna drop shield or like jump and just shoots a charge shot right in your face. I was very surprised when he was able to do it against me. Ooh. And the uh, goal experience went for the whole nine yards there. Slowly but surely sticking his way in and the charge shot. I'm surprised how many of these charge shots he's actually getting in. Yeah. I'm surprised like that he's not using Magnet more to uh, absorb any of these. Yeah, like on React okay. anyway. That was a good Magnet stall to kind of like whip punish the dash attack. Yeah. Now he's got to land. It's going to be difficult to catch him. Oh, that was good. Yeah. That was a good stall. The stalls have been working out. They've been really baiting Disco to go for like those dash attacks and those type of uh, things that would normally be like very dangerous in the neutral. Yeah, and it works out really well because he could just absorb any uh, charge shots that he does throw at him. How the goal experience is mix up the ground game and the aerial game. He catches him whipping oh. so many like forward airs, and then like when you think he's gonna play the ground game, he catches him whipping so many um, uh, dash attacks. But good stuff from uh, finally getting the right read right there, getting the forward air, and get off me, sir! Oh, unhand me! <laughs> and hand me again! No means no, kid. <laughs> he doesn't space him well. Instant up the uh, shield. Oh, okay, caught him there. Yeah. Oh, he's with the uh, Nair. Yeah, he basically he, he used that as like a confirm right there. That was very, yeah. very smart from Disco. He's getting a lot of charge shots for free right now. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, should be fine. I was about to say, you don't have to shield that. You can actually just, you know, <laughs> go all crazy with that. And yeah. finally gets his way in. He sees Disco whip him up oh. with a forward air. I don't think that ended jump, did it? I don't think it oh, did. No. And Disco is down yet another stock versus Going Spirit. I thought Going Spirit has been in the lead these past like two games. Past like four games. He's been like very dominant in his play so far. The super good player. I, I feel like one of like the guys I expect to like blow up yeah. here in Denton. He's very good. Very good. A four there. Okay, goes for the dare. Maybe a little bit too eager to end it, but like he only lost stage. I'm saying, and oh. you lose stage against Samus, you know that might as well Rock be the end of your shot. stock. Okay, and okay, immediately back it up, yeah. Keep him at ledge, and sit up B. I like the fact that Disco knows that, like, anytime you press a button on my shield, you're not safe, man. Yeah. It's pretty difficult to know the know if you can or not, because uh, Ness can just freely move move around a lot of people's shield. True, and I'm liking to see the anti airs here now. He's not reacting to him jumping. Okay, good parry. The back yeah. air sneaks his way through in the through that forward air. He's starting to try to fair, yeah, to the anti air. I think but... he needs to jump. There's no down smash right there. I feel like that would have just like ended his life. Yeah. Well, it's very even right now. Oh, he gets oh, the whiff again. Okay, get up attack okay, this again. time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. That, that works. He oh, no. sticks in the back here once again to the forward air. Oh, and he no. ends up getting him on the top with the DI. It's immaculate for Disco. Oh, my God. But a take two does not happen as Gog Experience puts himself in winner's semis right now. Beating Nanor and beating the number two seed, Gog Experience. Looking, Looking pretty pretty nice. nice. Looking very nice. Very, very nice out here, man. Good stuff to go experience. PK Thunders were very awesome esque. It was as if, like, he it was just locked on. Yeah, it seemed like he was locked on, and, like, when he called him to jump the first time, I was like, oh, man, he's super dead. The yeah. DI was super good, but, like, you can only DI well so many times. <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult to deal with that PK Thunder if you don't have the right tools for it. So, I mean, like, that's going to be it for um, Disco Bunny in winner's bracket anyway. Uh, he shall make the, the run through losers. Gold is going to be enjoying that, taking a nice little W there. Incredible stuff. Yeah, let me check the bracket real quick. 
that's the funny thing about Golden too. Is like someone was talking about him earlier. I'm like I don't know where to see this man. Like you know, he can either make the upset or he can just get upset. I feel like there's a lot of, of those types of players in Denton where you don't know if they're gonna make a huge run or like bust her out sometimes. Cap has got the work from Witherman apparently. Because Cap is in losing losing bracket right now. Can we scroll oh, up man. a little bit? Yeah. Uh, scroll up and go to the left. Okay, so Witherman beat Capus uh, 2 0. Hit him with the Witherman 2 0. And also, in cold, lost to Mage, so that means it's going to be Palatina versus Ryu in winner's quarters as well. Mm. So we got ourselves a stacked winner's quarters here, fellas. I like yeah, it. Yeah, good round of games. It's super per superb round of games. I'm pretty sure you're happy a little bit uh, if you're able to beat Jama. The deal go experience, but that's also Ness. No one likes really fighting Ness, but swords yeah. do pretty good. Swords, swords against Ness do pretty well. It's still rough sometimes when he does get the PK fire on you. Definitely can just rob your stock at like ten percent sometimes. Yeah, we were talking about in the Discord like, like people say like Ness beats or Ness loses the swords, but I only feel like it's negative one. Like it's not, like it's not like a big deal. Yeah, I feel like Ike either is even or maybe like slightly wins against Ness. It just feels that, like that maybe because of Austin, but even Beastly thinks that uh, Ness beats uh, Ike. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, frame data-wise, yeah, I'm pretty sure that character, like, if he catches you in air, like, you don't have a button to get him off you. Yeah, I, it, it's difficult for Ness to go get in, though, because of the range of the sword, but once he does, he messes Ike pretty up, pretty badly. We shall see what the next match is here. Uh, I imagine it's going to be either... Maybe Cheeks and Weatherman? Maybe. I mean, we're both on stream right now. Yeah, so. we're both on stream. And the unfortunate part of casting is that, like, you know, if you're a good player, you know, sometimes you don't get the. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you don't get those proper casters out there. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're in here for the long run, guys. Um, we're just waiting to see what happens there. But, I mean, so, once again, good stuff to go experience beating back-to-back uh, -back, uh, 